My name is Abraham Marte. I'm from Dominican Republic, and I fight for Jiu-Jitsu in Santo Domingo. My first round opponent is Joao Assis. In my opinion, he's the toughest competitor out of the whole, the whole bracket because he's the more seasoned. He's a monster, especially without the gi. But at the same time, I wouldn't want to face him in any other way than us facing each other in the first match. That way, we're both coming 100% into the fight and, you know, all in. All right, here we go. Abraham Marti against Joao Assis. Battle of two giants, the god of war against the ADCC champion. Actually, Joao Assis. AIC champion of five grappling as well. He won the absolute division last November. This is this is going to be an amazing match. I can't wait to see this. Two of the biggest, <laughs> the biggest guys in this category. And as you said, um, you know these could have been super fights in other organizations, but here are their first round matches here at Five Super League. When I saw this match was happening, I heard thunder. <laughs> now this is the, these guys are going to. Uh, they're, they're both such gamers. Yes. And they are monsters. Yes. Joao is coming from Checkmatch Jiu-Jitsu, training with the likes of Marcus Almeida Buchecha, Luis Panza, uh, you know, under tutelage of Leo Vieira. And uh, Abraham Marte actually had an amazing camp for this match. He went over to Miami, trained with Cyborg, Rodolfo Vieira, Joao Gabriel, Wagner Hosha, a ton, a ton, a ton of tough guys. Uh, very, very interesting. He worked a ton on his wrestling, and uh, I'm, I think that this is going to be an awesome match. I, I can't wait to see what happens here. I've been watching Marte for some time now because one of my very good friends, Tom McMahon, uh, has been a fan, has competed against, and has be befriended very deeply uh, Marte, and I'm glad I was turned on to him early because some exciting matches, some great jiu-jitsu. Yes. So, uh, again, young generation yep. versus uh, some veteran. Yeah, and you know, the thing with Marte, oh, look at that. Wow. Not sure how they're going to call that, wow. but he, almost, a, almost a sweep there. Joao coming on top. He's in the, the guard of Abraham Triangle. Marte. Triangle. Locking the legs up. Could we see another huge upset, a huge uh, triangle? I didn't predict this. No. This wasn't... Uh I didn't predict a triangle submission this early. This early. You know, interestingly enough, uh, Abraham has only started training full time, I think a year or two ago. He was actually only training like three or four times a week back in Dominican Republic under the tutelage of Abraham Tabar in the DR and then transitioned now to the GF team being cornered by Keenan Cornelius. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> wow. wow. Look at that. I, I didn't think we'd be here so soon. But, you know, Abraham's got the legs. Looks like, Look at that. Why would you put your hand yeah, I'm there? trying to figure that out. <laughs> putting his arm under the opposite leg there. I'm not too sure what's going to happen. Like, I, yeah, I don't know mm. what the strategy is there. But Joao staying very calm, trying to put a little more pressure. Uh, opened up. Got to be careful there. Especially with a powerhouse. Ooh, but he, he, he did. It worked. He got what he wanted, which was another cinch. He's trying to get that leg parallel across the back of the uh, shoulders and neck versus at an angle across the scapula. If there's, uh, if there's angle there, their blood flow to the brain can happen. But if you take that angle out and it's just delt going into one side of the neck and your thigh going into the other side of the neck, it doesn't matter how big you are, you're going to take a nap. Four minutes left, triangle locked. Joao sees his arm kind of wrapped on the opposite side, fending off the triangle, doing a great job of defending. Abraham switching up the side for his triangle now. As you see in the background, uh, Eddie Cummings and Otavio Bourdain looking mm -hmm. on. Mm. Here we go. Lots of pressure. You see Joao is turning red here. There's, the pressure's got to be on here, even though it's on the opposite side. What happens now, if they go out of bounds? Now grabbing his own shin. Well, if Joao forces him out of bounds, 
I believe that you know he will be receiving a penalty for that, but I'm not sure. You know, I have to double check the the rules here if they're going to be where they're going to be starting when they reset. Mm -hmm. So it's almost worth receiving the penalty just to get out of that guy's Absolutely. triangle. Sometimes you have to play within the, the the boundaries of the rules. Oddly enough, uh, Abraham Marte was a guy that had a you know was had a triangle on him once at a world championship, picked the guy up and tried to walk out of the ring trying to get the same strategy, trying to accept the penalty, but end up getting disqualified. Yes, I remember that. 245 left in the match. Abraham's got the triangle constantly attacking, trying to work that arm out. Joalis breaks out. Man. Now, whose gas tank took the bigger hit? I don't know who Joao was talking to. I don't know if he was talking to his corner or. <laughs> well, he's wanting points. He's we talking to his corner. Yeah, we got to keep the match going here, Let's though. Let's go, guys. Oh, you know what's, what may be happening here? Uh, one of the rules that we have here is there is a instant replay and coach's challenge mm. that can be applied. So if his coach, Lucas Leitch, yeah, looks like we're going to... Okay, so this is a, a, something new for the sport, guys. Um, it's called a coach's challenge. And what's going to happen is Lucas Leitch is asking for a coach's challenge. What's going to happen is this. They're going to replay the video. If in the video the points were justified and, and you know Joao did in fact score points he, be, he will receive the points however if it was incorrect he will receive a penalty and, mm. and Joao will no longer gamble. have any coaches challenges in this event it's a gamble I'm wondering if, if, if he's challenging the first initial time that they went to the ground it looked to me like Joao attacked the leg and then Marte pulled and so there might have been a two point uh, opportunity there, but at the same time, Marte responded so quickly with his uh, his spring up um, it, it, toward it, the back it, attacks. So it goes not. back to what I said. It, it really depends on where the position, where the scramble started from. If it started from a guard, then it's a sweep. Mm -hmm. If it was off of somebody taking your back and falling off, or you defending, that's not a sweep. Correct. So, you know, we'll see what happens here. I, I'd love to see the replay. I believe the referees are analyzing the video right now, and it would be interesting to see. I, I really don't know what to say. I mean, if he, you know, like we said, if, if Joao is incorrect, or if Lucas is incorrect, his cornerman, then Joao will actually receive a penalty, and he will be losing this match. Right. But if he's correct, he scores yeah. up to nothing starting on their feet, mm -hmm. could go for a takedown, could pull guard, and with two and a half left, could totally pull off a win. Yeah, that could be that could be a game changer for him, for sure. Great to see uh, both athletes, uh, you know, displaying some good sportsmanship, talking to each other a little bit. I think Abraham understands that, you know, it, it wasn't really too clear what happened. So hopefully we have a, a ruling he just fought for a long time with a triangle on, and he went back and forth. He's enjoying getting some yeah. oxygen into those legs right now. <laughs> and he's excited to get things started. The god of war, Abraham Marte, wants to see what's going on. He wants to know the decision here. Lots of action all around here. Very well uh, organized event. Let's see, let's see. Referees are uh, still examining the video. Just uh, double checking the video here at the uh, Budo Videos booth, making sure everything is going clear. Big thank you to Budo Videos for streaming this event here on 5grappling.com. And once again, thank you to everyone all around the world. Guys, if you're watching this, uh, this event and you're having a, a viewing party, you know, put out some Instagram posts, you know, hashtag, you know, five grappling view party or something like that. And, you know, let's see, hashtag five grappling or five super league and uh, show your support. Let us see who's watching the event. We'd love to, you know, we'd love to see who's the real fans of this event. And without the support of everyone, there won't be more events like this. Once again, big thank you to uh, Show Your Roll for being the main sponsor of the event, as well as all the other companies. Huge thank you to Studio 540, Mr. Robert Zepps and Studio 540, uh, as well as MMA Heat, Fox, Tap Cancer Out, 
and everyone else who supported the event. It looks like the, the judges and referees have made a decision and they will be coming back to the mat. Let's see what happens here. Very interesting. So once again, just a reminder, with the coach's challenge, you're allowed one coach's challenge. If you use it and you make a mistake, you are penalized and you will no longer have coaches' challenges during the event. So let's see what happens here. Unfortunately, I can't really hear the audio. Penalty point. Basically, there was no sweep, and Joao Assis has a penalty. They're going to make it. Yeah, it should be an open drive. Yeah, there we go. It looks like he's got two penalties. Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So very interesting, you know, this is a new concept, uh, you know, in, in the game here, and I think it's a necessity. You know, I think, I think it's a close call. It was a, good, it was a good thing for Joao to attempt. I mean, A, he got to breathe. Uh, B, if he had won, he would have come up on two points. But oh, oh here he goes, and gets the submission. Joao Assis came back from the penalty call, went for the heel hook, sat back, you know, in the midst of defeat potentially with the penalty, came back, submitted wow. the God of War with a beautiful heel hook. Congratulations, Joao Assis. Wow. Those legs were just being used to strangle him not too much longer ago, and, uh, and uh, he... Joao Assis and Yuri Samoez will be facing off. Wow, what a match that's gonna be. It's and now here crazy. we go, Tammy Muzumechi against Mackenzie Dern.